it began as an idea and a, and a way to, to reach out to what was recognized as an emerging uh, segment of the motorcycling population. And the first women's conference was held in a, a rather uh, small env uh, environment uh, adjacent to the AMA's offices when we were headquartered in Westerville, Ohio, just up the street in Audubon College. And from that small beginning, the conference has evolved into a true uh, international event. Of the five conferences we've had, the first three were targeted primarily at the women in the United States and our U.S. market. And in 06, uh, we made the decision to try and reach out and sort of expand. Since then, it has really become recognized as a, a global event uh, with the attraction of the, the many countries and uh, states that we have represented here in, uh, in Colorado. I, I think it's interesting, when we did the, the first international conference in Athens, Georgia in 06, we had a limited number of countries that were, were involved. This time we see uh, riders from Japan, which we didn't have previously, uh, from Switzerland, from Australia, who are coming here, women riders wanting to be part of a, an international event targeting women riders. It sort of served as a model where even uh, the international organization, the Federación Internacional de Motorcyclismo, has begun to target the women riders, recognizing the importance uh, to reach out to them as a segment of the community. and from a purely commercial perspective, uh, the size of the potential women's market in motorcycling. But AMA has been, I think, at the forefront uh, of leading and advocating that, uh, that position for women.